Good morning, Nick Rabbits here. We're back at the Limerick race course for the second day of counting. We're up to the seventh count in the four-seater Limerick City constituency. Uh, I'm here with Maria Byrne, uh, the second Fine Gael candidate, or the first Fine Gael candidate in the city, or one of the two. Um, Maria, your assessment of your performance in this election and the party's performance? Well, Nick, this was my first time actually running for the general election, so I was an unknown. As such, I, all I had was my local election vote back in 2014. But certainly, I suppose there has been a vote very much anti the government, and I think that's very obvious that has been replicated all over the country. But certainly, I'm very proud of my performance, and I'm very thankful to all those that came out and worked with me and supported me over the last uh, number of weeks and, and years, I suppose, because I'm 21 years in politics. I obviously a political dynasty with yourself and your father. I presume, you know, if you if you miss out an election here, what does the future hold for you? Will you be looking maybe to another Senate nomination? Well, Nick, I'm 21 years in politics and obviously I haven't given up yet. The votes are only being transferred currently, so until we see the result of that. But um, certainly I'll, I'll have to reassess my situation, but having served for 21 years, you know, I'd like to be, I've always been involved in politics since a young age, so I hope to continue that. In terms of the next, the makeup of the next government, how do you see that going? I think it's going to be very difficult to form a government, but, you know, I mean, the people have voted for change, so, you know, I think that, um, you know, it, it is going to be most interesting to see whatever outcome comes out of it. It is going to be di very difficult, I do believe, because all the parties are so tight in numbers. Thanks very much, Maria. Stay with uh, www.limerickleader.ie throughout the morning for all the twists and turns here at the Tote Hall and the Limerick Racecourse.